hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel as you all know i am your girl latroya griffin and as i always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video so my kings and queens i have a word for you all today so the scripture says then the lord said rise and anoint him he is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord was upon David. So God is saying, God says, he's, he's saying he's sending something. God is saying he's sending the higher forces to appoint you. God, so God is saying, he's saying it's you. God is saying it's you who he wants. It's you who's going to make it happen. God has placed a anointing down on the inside of you. God is saying that he has anointed you with his oil. He's, God is saying that he's going to set before you a table in the presence of your enemies. God is saying that you are a king's kid he's saying that you are the king's kid god is saying that he's sending his resurrecting power god is saying that he's sending something in you he's saying that he's sending his troops to get you god is saying that you have been doubting yourself for long enough Put in a comment, say, I am a king's kid. God is saying that it's time for you to shine. It's time that you prove the doubters wrong. It's time that you prove the enemies wrong in this season. God is saying that he has anointed you. He's saying that he has sent someone. He has sent his reinforcement. He's saying that he's sending reinforcement. He's saying that he's sending the higher forces to anoint you and appoint you for this season. God is saying that there is fresh oil that is upon your head. There's a fresh oil that is upon your body god is saying that you are the david of your generation god is saying that he's sending you your samuel he's sending you the your samuel that is going to appoint you for this season god is saying that you are the one you are the king's kid god is saying that he is sending someone to you that is going to place that fire up under you god is saying that it's time that you apply that pressure in this season god is sending his resurrecting power God is saying you are the one. He's saying it's you who he wants. It's you who he has been calling. It's you that are going to break these generational curses off your life. God is saying it's you. He's saying you're the one. He's saying just like he said for David before he sent Samuel, he told he told Samuel, he said he said that he is the one. God is saying you are the one. You are the one and only person in your family that is going to break these generational curses. God is saying that he placed you in that family for a reason. He's saying that he placed you in that family to be different. He's saying that you are play. He's saying that you are creating something in your family. He's saying that you are stirring something up in your family. He's saying that you are stirring up generational wealth. God is saying you are the one. You are the one. Just like David, God is saying that he's going to set before you a table in the presence of your enemies. David's brothers, even David's father didn't know that he was going to be the one to get appointed and anointed. His dad thought that one of his other sons was going to be the one to be anointed and appointed for it to be king. But... God saying that he had another plan in mind. God is saying that he is sending some surprises in, into your life this year. God is saying that they, they're going to overlook you. God is saying they're going to doubt you. They're going to, they're going to not believe in you. But God is saying that he is going to reveal some things to them. But God is saying that you are the one. You are the one to break these generational curses. You are the one to prove the doubters wrong. God is saying that they're going to have to watch you from the nose, please. I want you to put in the comments saying, I am the king's kid. I am the king's kid. Okay, so let me go back to the scripture. It says, then the Lord said, arise and appoint him. He is the one. God is saying he is sending the higher forces. He is sending someone to you so that you can know who you really are. God is sending you someone that's going to appoint you and anoint you for the season. God is saying, yes, he has given them the permission to anoint you. 
God is saying he has to send the higher enforcements so that you can believe who you are in his kingdom. God is saying you are the one just like they overlooked David and they didn't think that David just because he was a shepherd boy. They didn't think that he was the anointed one. But God is saying that he is sending his quiet forces. He has designed you to be a quiet storm. God is saying that you are that quiet storm. You are that storm that people overlook. God is saying that you are the one. He's saying that he is sending someone to pour that fresh anointing upon you, to pour that fresh oil. God is saying he's sending his higher forces. So in this season, my kings and queens, unleash that power, unleash that anointing, unleash that strength that God has placed in you. Don't marvel at what I do, for this is the Lord speaking through me. God is saying he has placed something in you too. Rather it be a, you know, rather you become a hairstylist, a, you know, a photographer, whatever it is. God is saying that he has placed something in you. We all have gifts. Just because I am gifted to speak, you know, speak from the Lord's perspective or to teach the Lord's word, that doesn't mean that I'm better than you because you were, you were created to, you know, to be a beautician. God is saying that he has placed something special down on the inside of you, but it's up to you to unleash it. God is saying he has already proven to you that you were anointed, that you are anointed. He's saying that he has already poured that oil upon your head. He has already sent his, he has already sent his higher forces to re reveal to you that you are the one. God's saying it's you who he wants. It's you who's going to make it happen. So my kings and queens, God has poured his fresh anointing upon you. You are the vessel that he is using to speak to his people. So God is saying you are the one. He's saying it's you. It's you, my child. It's you who I'm longing for. It's you who I want to speak, who I want to speak to my people. It's you who I want to use as my vessel. It's you who's going to break the generational curses. It's you who's going to bring who's going to bring positivity to your community. I love you all so much and I will be seeing you in tomorrow's video. Bye my kings and queens.